No. No, Gabby. No, please, Gabby, no. No, no, Gabby, don't, don't throw it, Gabby. No, don't, no. Welcome to Monkey Doodle, and I'm Mr. L. I'm going to be the host of this drawing show, and pretty much we do silly things and silly drawings, and we have our great friend, Babby, the silly, naughty monkey, who's always hanging out with us and doing crazy things. And we have to figure out what to draw today. I'm going to scratch my beard a little bit, and that's what I do when I start to think, because we need an idea, so, hmm, what could we draw today? What could we draw? Hey, hey, Babby. What's going on, Babby? What do you have there, Babby? Hey, let me check it out. What? Whoa, you've got a drawing for me, Babby? How cool. Babby, this is awesome. You are the best, Babby. <laughs> Babby brought us a drawing here. What do you think, guys? Babby has a drawing of a banana. This is really cool. Let's check it out. So Babby wants us to draw a banana, I think. What a great idea. So guys, get your drawing supplies ready and let's draw a banana. Okay, guys, today we're going to start drawing Miss Banana Splits, and thanks to Babby for that great idea. So I hope you have a piece of paper ready, and today we're going to use a Crayola marker, but you can use whatever you want, okay? All right, so let's get started. Yeah! Okay, so Miss Banana Splits is going to start up here on the top of our paper, and we're going to make a nice curve that starts near the corner and goes like that. Okay, so it's near the left corner. Now, we're going to make, at the bottom of this, two C's. Watch, here's one big C connected to it. And here is a smaller C, pops out, but also pretty much connects to it. Make sure it connects, okay? So you see it's a C and a backward C. Good job. All right, now we're going to go back on top. We're going to make another curve right next to the other one, and it hits the other smaller C, all right? And there's, looks looks like two cherries right now that are kind of stuck to each other. It's funny how these things become something else along the way. All right, at the bottom, we're going to make believe this curve goes behind the eye, so it looks more 3D and all is, is overlapped by the eye. So watch again, lean your palm against the paper because it always gives you good stability and good leverage. So let's go below the eye and nice curve like that. Okay, so you see it's, I leaned against and came down near the corner. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing with the other curve that started above the eye. We're going to go down below it, make believe it passes under, and curve. Okay, so it's pretty quick motion. Curves, it's pretty close, but travels parallel to each other. That means it's right next to each other, okay? All right, you guys are doing a great job. All right, stick with me. This banana splits is on the way. Now, we're going to go... Make sure this is a little higher, this little line here, just in case, because we're going to close that later. We're going to go right next to it, pretty much, a little bit, a little bit ahead of that. We're going to make a line that's like that. So it's a shorter line, closer to the last curvy line. See that? We're going to now go from this straight line. We're going to make a big curve that goes out and meets up down here. Watch. Okay, so look at that. See, it comes out. Nice big curve, wider over here compared to the first two sets of lines. And now you're starting to see Miss Banana Split's shape, okay? Now, we're going to close the banana shape. So come back up here and draw a short line right there between the top line and the middle line, okay? Great. Draw a short line between these two first lines. See that? So we're starting to form the shape of kind of like a diamond, a kite shape, or what we call a rhombus, or even a rectangle with slanted sides. Another line that goes up, and these two are opposite each other. We call that parallel. See that? And close it with a longer line that connects to that corner piece. So there it is. There's our diamond or kite shape. And inside of it, okay, let's do a few little lines and diagonal lines in one direction. Diagonal lines in the other direction. We call that cross hatching. Gives a little nice texture and you know makes it more realistic with that dark area on the top of the banana stem. Let's do the same thing at the bottom, guys. Make a short line between the middle and the bottom line. Okay, short line, straight, pretty straight. Make a short line that's angled, diagonal, between this middle line and the outer line on the other side, the first line we did. And again, you're starting to see the shape. 
draw a longer line down a little bit, see? And close it out with a shorter diagonal line between those two first lines. All right, and that makes that other diamond or kite shape. Let's do some cross hatching lines, one direction, the other direction, got that nice texture again. And there completes the shape of this banana split. And I'm starting to get a little hungry. Oh boy. Let's do a crazy dark circle over here. Circle, 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 make it dark, and then leave a little wide area. Highlight, more realistic. Let's do a crazy smaller dark circle in this bottom part. So, you know, when you call somebody bananas, um, it's kind of like saying, hey, they're a little crazy. And this banana splits has crazy eyes that just kind of move around inside that shape there. Okay. And she does look silly. And the point of what we do is to learn how to draw cool, silly characters and have fun. All right. There are her eyes. Let's make three curvy lines that come out here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Nice, long, curvy eyelashes. All right. She needs a little bit something else. Let me rub my beard. What does she need? Oh, she needs a smile, of course. She's a happy, crazy banana. So here's a long curve. Starts from this line, goes up real sharp, and a little short curve at the end of it. Okay? She's getting happy and goofier by the minute. Okay. Let's give her some silly teeth. Line down, line down, and over. So it's kind of like a rectangle that sticks out. The line in the middle, so she has silly buck teeth. So let's give Miss Banana Splits some arms. Over here on the inside, kind of near her mouth, let's go and make a nice line that goes up. Nice dark line, and because it's black and covers the other black line, we don't have to worry about any overlaps or anything to erase. You can make it a little bit thicker if you'd like to. Okay, and at the end of it, let's do a hand. One loop, two loop, three, four, and come back and close it. So it's kind of like a fat glove. Okay, on the other side, let's do one just lower than the mouth. I'm using the side of my marker and go down. See that? Nice curve down, not too long, not too long, okay? And let's do loop that comes out. One, two, three, and shorter for the thumb. Let's do a line kind of across from the hand over here that goes out like this, watch. See that nice thick line sticks out. And around that, a simple oval. Boom, there we go. On this side, we're going to do a similar line that will be shorter. And instead of starting on in the inside of the banana, it's going to start on the edge of this line. So watch. Okay, see that? And I'll make it a tiny bit thicker. Okay, and a loop at the end of that. So as you can see, this banana splits is doing a split. <laughs> How cool is that? All right, awesome. And now we're going to end this cool, crazy drawing with a couple of silly peanuts. Watch. It's kind of like a figure eight shape. And you can come up with your own crazy pattern. It doesn't have to be peanuts. And I like doing little curves for texture on the outside of the peanut. And we're just about done, my friends, with Miss Banana Splits. It's a crazy banana drawing. That's it, my friends. Thanks to Babby for showing us the cool banana drawing and giving us the idea. No, no.
Gabby. No, please, Gabby, no. No, no, Gabby, don't, don't throw it, Gabby. No, don't, no. <laughs> All right, Babby. You got me good, Babby. You got me really good this time. Okay, Babby. I'll see you later. All right. <laughs> you got me good. Hey, guys. Thanks for joining me on Monkey Doodle. You guys did a great job drawing. Please join me next time for the next crazy episode with Babby the Monkey. Like and subscribe. You guys are the best. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 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 uh, hey guys, great job. Thanks. <laughs> Why did you? Well, I did the tricks, and I don't think Babby's mad at me, but I think that's what we. Babby, come. Babby, I know you're a little upset, but you, you know, Babby, I do love you. <laughs>